Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead with our Mutant Challenge episode 7 with the series here and I've got some, I guess, good news and bad news. The good news is that, well actually let me let me start with the bad news. The bad news is that uh, I was uh, sort of recording back to back episodes and not saving because that's what I do best and the, the game crashed on me. I It crashed during a, a moment that was really important but I don't want to bring up the moment because until the moment actually happens again, I don't want to spoil it. But essentially, I caused the game to crash by doing something. And since I hadn't saved for a while, I started all the way back at the last time I had slept. Which I guess, here's the good news, I now don't have all the negative traits I had before. But I also don't have all of these skills I learned. However, I'm going to go ahead and just do the thing that caused it to crash again and see if it happens. Obviously, if it crashes again... Um, I've got a really big problem, but if it doesn't, then it doesn't. Uh, this has happened to me before how, in the past recording. Uh, this has also happened to me when I was streaming. Uh, the crash seems to be caused by like loud noises and such. So I don't know why it's doing that, but occasionally it does seem to do it. But like I said, no matter because it's kind of a win-lose situation, I guess. It's a win-win or I don't know. But yeah, I've got a plan here, so I'm going through and actually setting up for the plan, and I'll explain it as we go along. So basically, we've got to be able to get out of here, and we believe the stairs to escape are over there. But there's a turret guarding them, and I've got to kill that turret. There's a couple ways to do it. I've got a mini nuke. That's probably the best way to do it. And I'm afraid to detonate another mini nuke because of how much damage the other one caused. And we're already irradiated at 8. But I think I'm going to risk it anyway. So I'm going ahead and making a plan here. And I'm hoping it's going to lead to us escaping. And the reason I'm willing to risk this is because you saw how many... Oh, we actually already gained. We gained slit nostrils. And growling voice. Infection. Night view. Pack mill, rough skin. Slit nostrils. Slit nostrils. You have a flat nose and thin slits for nostrils, giving you a lizard-like appearance. This makes breathing slightly difficult and increases mouth encumbrance by 10. Wow. The hell. So, yeah, we, um... We're just gonna keep mutating, and most importantly, we're just gonna... Uh, keep mutating into negative things if I don't do something about it. So, this is what I'm going to do about it. I'm gonna get us out of here. And we know that there is a mini nuke over here that we can use to get out of here. Probably shouldn't Let's see. There's a man hack too. Okay. Damn man hack. Did a little bit of damage to us. We're very hungry. We're thirsty. I know where we can get some stuff. There's that broccoli I've been dying to have. This is the other library, which is intact because I haven't been here yet, technically. I'm going to start saving more after every episode. I used to do that in my previous series, and then I stopped doing it. It's a bad habit. Don't be like me. Save. Constantly save, especially when you're playing experimental like I am. I'm doing experimental, so I'm obviously going to occasionally have issues with it. We could if we wanted to stay down here a little bit longer. And what did I just get? Am I sick again? I just ate a ton of disgusting food, I think. Oh, just like pumpkin barfed. Okay. Stimulants were nausea irradiated. Uh, I could stay down here a little bit longer and do some reading. It's not a bad idea. Uh, I'll get the mini nuke ready regardless. But I'd like to read and get a bunch of our skills up before we attempt to make it to the surface again. Uh, the mini nuke could kill me. I don't know because I didn't make it that far. But I had the same idea uh, in the previous episode I was recording right before it all went uh, rapidly downhill. Uh, 
Uh, I would have to drop the nail board and probably drop some of this food. For now. I could take that, but I would need to wield the mini nuke. We can at least get it upstairs and ready to go, right? Then we can do a bunch of reading. In the library. I want to start getting our skills up that way. Crap. Man hacks everywhere. Drink the sports drink. They actually got the sli slime serum too, which I can try again. Characters trying to get sick, I think, because of the all the junk food I just ate. This path should lead me right to where I want to drop this off. It's going to be right here is where I'm going to end up setting it off if I do it. I'm still debating if I want to. I think that'll be all right. Usually whenever something crashed my game, it wouldn't I could it wouldn't like replicate. It was always so random. I don't know if it was just because like a big explosion like that would cause um I don't know, just weird like it would blow up certain things that it couldn't and would cause the game to crash and then the second time it wouldn't blow up the same. I don't know. There could be a lot of factors that go into it why it does it. I want to get back to the library, preferably without the man hack beating me up. So that I can do some reading. Some hot times the man hacks seem to attack you, sometimes they don't seem to care. Ooh, there's a chemistry set sewing kit. Oh, this is my stuff. Did I lose my bag or what made me drop all that? I would like to take these with me at least, but. I don't know why I dropped this. Oh, because I guess my strength's low. Well, once we get tired, we can do some sleeping. I want to get my fabrication and stuff back up. I think some of these books here were going to really help me out if I remember. Just grab that and read it now. More gunshots. Okay, increasing tailoring to one. Why are we chilly? We're strong now. Heat dependent, great. Your muscle response is dependent on ambient temperature. You lose 1% of your speed for every 5 degrees below 65. This sluggishness helps you conserve energy, however. But, we got strong. Your muscles are a little stronger strength plus one. So that's not bad. The heat dependent kind of sucks, but that... At least can be um, that can be offset by just wearing more clothes, essentially. Okay, I think it's pitching a tent. Survival skill to three. Our survival skill is nothing right now, so we'll read that.
No longer feel nauseous, so that's good. I'll probably gain something else while we're reading this. That seems to be how it goes. You lose your slit nostrils, so that's nice. Still have the heat dependent. Other than that, we've got a nice build right now. Increase survival to one, so we'd have to read it a couple times to get it higher. I don't know, I can't survive off this candy forever. Well, actually, I probably can. There's a ton of it here. It's just going to be whether or not I can survive off of... If I can find enough to drink. I mean, that, that the, the beverage... There's a bunch here. Oh, there's a ton here. The beverage really shouldn't be the problem. More food right here. Keep the empty bottles on me because it seems like I'm going to need them. There was the, co the copper pot here. Oh, if I wanted to use that. Oh, boy. Survival to three. Let me see what else. There's a couple different books here I wanted. How to trap anything. Bring a trapper skill to four. Okay. Not really that important. Knife fighters, notes. And the close quarters was stuff I wanted. Bring your melee skill to three. Bring your cutting weapon skill to three. I'm going to take the slime serum. Light bones and slimy, so we grabbed the, got the same ones. That's pretty good. That's what I was hoping we'd get. Take a little bit of this aspirin. How am I for radiation? Seven, not bad. I need to drop some of this candy. Still can't pick it up. What the heck? I guess it doesn't weigh... The candy doesn't weigh that much, but... Drop this. It's a heavy book. Oh, I can wield the nail board. That would help. There. All right. Can bring your survival skill to six. Require survival level three. Makes a bunch of stuff. So that's where pitching the that pitching the tank comes in. And I'm pretty sure this one gives us the survival ten, if I remember. Oh, uh, level eight, actually. Mm 
Boyer's Mechanical Mastery, Swords of the Samurai. I think I wanted that pretty bad. Brings your fabrication skill to 10, requires fabrication level 5. We've got fabrication 4, no, 3, but I think I can get fabrication higher. I thought there was something here. Was it the Boyer's? Building for beginners. I think it was the Boyer's buddy. I think building for beginners too. Fabrication can bring your fabrication skill to three. Oh, we've already got three. Fabrication skill to five. There it is. So we should start reading that. Oh, mutated into very heat dependent. Yikes. Our body is aching. We're very heat dependent now. We got strong and strong scent. Lightly furred. Okay, slight protection from the cold. That's at least useful. Very heat dependent, but slight protection from the cold. Uh, our scent is particularly strong. Not offensive to humans, but animals that track your scent will do more easily. Okay. Very heat dependent. But we've got animal empathy. No, we, didn't. we, we lost that. We're tired and we're chilly. Oh, we could put a blanket on us. That would help. Uh, our character's tired anyway, so I think it's time for us to go get some rest. And then we can keep reading up. See if I can remember how to get to a room with a bed from here. Without having to go through any man hacks. There we go. Perfect. Make a nice area to sleep in, like so. If I can find a hoodie, I know I've seen one kicking around. What the heck? Where was that hoodie? Ah, waistcoat. I will wear that now. Jeans, which I'm going to wear. We're a little over encumbered, but that's going to help. She's very over encumbered. Perfect. Okay, now we got the plastic bottles too, which we can use. But let's go ahead and get some sleep. Actually going to save the game this time. Don't set an alarm. Probably going to gain a bunch of mutations. Not really looking forward to it. But pain's going down and radiation should be going down too. 
Getting a mutation called Little. Uh oh. Feel well rested. Current health negative 58. That's better than it was and irradiated's down. What is Little? Holy crap, there's a lot here. It's getting a little out of control. A little out of control. Get it? Uh, you've noticeably shrunk in size. You're able to move with increased li lithness, but your smaller stature prevents you from carrying as much. Damn, that's the last thing we needed. No. Oh. Did I drop anything because of it? No. But at least we... managed to pull that off, I guess. And we're pretty well rested. Oh, I can try this again. And that castle shuts down. Only thing I could really do then is continue reading. Which I kind of want to do. More explosions. Fabrication increased to level four. Nice. As we do this, we'll slowly be able to unlock a lot more things. I do want to try and get more arrows. Small game arrow, so we're getting there. Some crossbow bolts. As we keep reading the boyer's buddy, we'll probably eventually be able to make full-blown arrows. Should be nice. Mutation called Sweet Tooth. Okay, I don't mind that. I think that's a good one. Especially in our situation, because we've got a lot of candy down here. Sweet Tooth. You have a soft spot for processed foods and gain a morale bonus from eating them. Yeah, that's pretty useful in our situation. In fact, we're very hungry and dehydrated, so we'll go ahead and do that now. And if I get a fire going, I can... I can get some fresh water going so we don't have to keep eating all, or drinking all this, I guess. Look at that morale bonus, though. That'll actually help us a lot for reading. Very hungry from all the junk food, though. Oh, some clean water here. How much? Four bottles of it. Good. Slaked. Okay. We're just hungry now. I actually could do this. Seven plastic bottles. Where can I fill seven plastic bottles? I've got a copper pot so I can boil water. If I fill a bunch of them, I can find gallon jugs and fill them. That'd probably be a better idea. Let me drop these books here. We're actually out of time, so we'll go ahead and leave it off here. We're doing all right. I'm kind of happy with the restart. Kind of not because I, I lost something that was kind of cool. But I guess you guys will find out later on if I do it again how I do it. But meanwhile, I guess I'll take advantage of the fact that we don't have a bunch of negative traits and use it to try to read these books I wanted to read before we try and make it to the surface. So I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time.